Welcome to English Grammar Lesson, Tagalog Edition with me, Teacher Maya, na magbibigay na naman sa inyo ng isang short quiz with answers and explanation. Simulan na natin. Alam mo ba ang iba't ibang forma ng tense ng verb? Take this quiz to find out. Ano ba ang tense ng verb ng sentence na to? Ito ay present continuous. Ano ang tense ng verb na was chosen? Ito ay past simple. Ano ang tense ng verb ng sentence na to? Ito ay present perfect continuous. Ano ang tense ng verb na have been told? Ito ay present perfect simple. Ano ang tense ng verb dito? Ito ay past perfect simple. Bakit yun ang answers? Ito ang explanation. Tandaan lang natin na meron tayong tatlong tenses ng verbs. Past, present, at future. Na pwedeng simple, continuous, at perfect ang mga forma. At ang perfect tense ay pwedeng simple at continuous ang forms. So meron tayong past, simple. Present, simple. Future, simple. Meron din tayong past, continuous. Present, continuous. At future, continuous. Meron ding past, perfect, simple. Present, perfect, simple. At future, perfect, simple. At merong past, perfect, continuous. Present, perfect, continuous. At future, perfect, continuous. At ang verb na is being fixed ay present, continuous na passive form. Ang forma nito ay am, is, or are. At susundan ng being at susundan ng past participle. Kagaya ng is being fixed. Ang active form nito ay am, is, or are na susundan ng ing form of the verb, kagaya ng is fixing. Kung present simple form ito, ang verb ay dapat fix or fixes, at ang passive form ay is fixed. Kung present perfect simple naman ito, ang active form nito ay has fixed, kung singular ang subject, at has been fixed, kung passive form na singular ang subject. Ang present perfect continuous form naman ito, kung active, ay has been fixing kung singular ang subject at has been fixed kung singular ang subject ng passive form. Ang verb ng item na to na was chosen ay isang past simple tense ng verb. Passive ang form nito at ang pattern ng passive form ng verb na past simple ay was or were na susundan ng past participle. Kagaya ng was chosen. Kung active ang form nito, gagamit lang tayo ng chose. Kung ito ay past continuous, malamang ito ay was being chosen kung passive form at were choosing kung active form. Ang helping verb ay nagdedepende kung singular or plural ang, ang subject ng sentence. Past perfect simple naman ito. Ang passive form niya ay had been chosen at ang active form ay had chosen. Kung past perfect continuous ito, ang passive form niya ay had been being chosen at ang active form ay had been choosing. Sa item na to, ang verb na has been cleaning ay isang present perfect continuous tense. Isa itong active form at ang pattern ng active form na present perfect continuous ay has or have na susundan ng been at susundan ng present participle or yung ing form ng verb. Kung passive ang form nito, ang pattern niya ay has or have, susundan ng been, and being, at past participle. So magiging has been being cleaned. Kung present perfect simple ang verb dito na clean, ang main verb, ito ay has cleaned kung active form. At kung passive naman, has been cleaned. Sa sentence na to, kung present continuous ang kanyang verb na clean, ang active form nito ay is cleaning. At ang passive form ay is being cleaned. Kung present simple naman ito, ang active form nito ay cleans at ang passive form ay is cleaned. Ang verb ng item na to na have been told ay isang present perfect simple tense na passive ang form. 
Ang pattern nito ay has or have plus been plus past participle. Gaya ng have been told. Ang active form nito ay has or have susundan ng past participle. Kung singular ang subject, ang forma nito ay has told. Kung present perfect continuous ito, ang form nito kapag passive ay have been being told at kung active, has been telling. Kung ito ay present simple, ang passive form ng main verb na told dito ay are told. At ang active form ay tells kung singular ang subject. Kung present continuous ito, ang passive form ng verb dito ay are being told. At ang active form ay is telling. Sa item na to, ang verb na had taken ay past perfect simple ang tense. Isa itong active form. Ang pattern nito ay had plus past participle. Kagaya ng had taken. Kung passive ang form nito, ang pattern niya ay had plus been plus past participle. So magiging had been taken. Kung isa itong past perfect continuous, ang forma nito kapag active ay had been taking. Kung passive, had been being taken. Kung past simple naman ito, Ang active form nito ay took at ang passive form ay was taken. Kung past continuous ito, ang active form nito ay was taking at ang passive form ay was being taken. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day.